What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Boston Clinic. Shout out to the LDBC, the YTBC. We working. Uh, don't forget the podcast channel. Link in the description. Direct link to the Matisse and Ty- uh, Kyrum um, breakdown. And uh, you can check out a couple other things I did there. And I'm, I might be planning on doing a live scoring, live reaction once again this weekend. Don't forget about it. Want to donate? The link is in the description. Got some cool things coming. But um, we here talking about Earl Spence Jr. and um. A hypothetical. Now, let's say Earl Spence Jr., you know, um, you know, somehow gets three belts. You know, I'm not, I'm going to leave Crawford and Horn, Pacquiao out the equation. Okay, let's say he gets the three belts. Um, you know, let's say he beats Thurman, hypothetically. Gets three belts. Okay. We know guys are not willing to fight Earl Spence. Um, if he gets the three belts, let's say Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, um, you know, just them two, you know, for say, because... Those are two welterweights right now. Two top welterweights. That's probably in the top five, top six. Okay. Jesse Vargas has already expressed his you know, his interest in fighting Earl Spence. He's not scared. You know, verbally, you know, that's what he's saying. Okay. We know how Golden Boy feel about Lucas Matisse. He probably they probably won't put him on a suicide mission yet. Okay, we know Saddam Ali's not coming back down. We know Kell Brooks probably not coming back down either. Okay, let's see. Let's say, you know, he gets three belts. He beats Keith Thurman. All right. Okay. All right, if he gets the three belts, do these guys move up or continue to avoid Earl Spence? I mean, for a guy like Danny Garcia, it's like, it's a, you know, I don't know which way he can go but retirement. I don't see him being effective at 54 at this point. And um, obviously, he don't want to fight Terrence Crawford, Jeff Horn. Maybe Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao can somehow defeat the Crawford Horn winner, Danny Garcia, and, and you know, Pacquiao have expressed mutual interest. So maybe that could be a way out for him. But, um... I believe if Earl Spence does get three belts and beat Keith Thurman, I think Keith Thurman moves up to 54 or retires. He seems to be at peace with his career. I think Sean Porter moves up. He's already talked about moving up. He said by the time, you know, I got to fight Spence. By the, by the time, you know, that fight probably, you know, uh, comes together, I'm probably going to have to move back and wait and can't make the wait no more. I remember him saying that. And and I truly believe that. I think if Earl Spence, you know, gets three belts, the only guy that's, that's going to fight Earl Spence is legitimately Terrence Crawford at that weight. That, that matters right now. Um, you know, I don't see anybody, um, that really wants Earl Spence. I, I think it's get to the point. It's not that, it's not the fact that, you know, they said, okay, Earl Spence, he ain't did nothing. He ain't got a world championship. He get a world championship. Now guys want to act like they're not interested in fighting him. And I think if he get three belts, you know, and then eventually, you know, let's say I'm going to leave Crawford out of it, but let's say he gets three belts. I think Crawford's going to be the only guy that want and willing to fight him. You know, I see just in this, you know, hypothetical equation, excuse me, a little bit under the weather, you know, I think Keith Thurman, if he doesn't retire, is going to move up. I don't think he's going to want to rematch if it ends the way most people think it's going to end. But if it's close, I think he will want to rematch. But let's say he loses, you know, convincingly enough, and he takes a beating or a little bit of punishment, but he loses. And I think Sean Porter moves up to 54. Um, I think Thurman moves up to 54. Um, I think Danny Garcia, I don't know what he's going to do. You know, will he man up and fight Earl Spence? At that point, for three titles, I mean, it's either that or face Manny Pacquiao, Crawford, or Horn. And they've talked about, you know, having that fight happening. But it just shows you the point and the fact that the boxing politics the way they are. You know, and, you know, you know, Keith Thurman doesn't have to fight Earl Spence. You know, other sanctioned bell bodies don't rank alphabet champions. And he said it's going to happen. I believe Keith is a man of his word. And when it does happen, it wouldn't shock me if anything happened in that fight, if Keith won, Earl won, draw, double knockout, Rocky type crap, I, I wouldn't surprise me. But I'm saying, I believe this guy, Earl Spence, is just as feared. He hasn't reached the pinnacle of Paul Williams at 147. I did a video a long time ago saying this dude was the new Paul Williams. He's very approaching the peak of fear that but Paul Williams had stowed upon the welterweight division. And I think he... It can surpass him if he beats Keith Thurman, holds three belts, and guys move up after that, or guys continue to avoid him after he accumulates three belts. And that would just show and surpass the type of fear that Paul Williams cast upon that 147-pound division. You know, it's really going to show then how feared Earl Spence is. You know, if he gets three belts, you know, and we know Crawford, how he he cut and how he made, he'd jump in with Earl Spence tomorrow if he had to. But I'm leaving the top rank era, Jeff Horn, Pacquiao out of this. Because eventually, you know, two of them three guys are going to square up and do their thug thizzle, you feel me? And um, 
I'm just talking about on the PB side of PBC side of things. And I truly believe that. And a lot of people probably is going to disagree with me on that. I mean, guys have had opportunities to fight for for the belt. You know, guys like Sean Porter said, well, you know, I'm not ranked, so I'm not going to fight for the belt. I'm not going to apply to be ranked. I just don't want to fight the guy. Danny Garcia, you know, Earl Smith knocked on the door. He didn't come to the door. He stayed in the play, in the basement playing PS4 all night. He didn't hear Earl Smith. And that didn't, it didn't give a rebuttal on it as well. Keith Thurman is responding. He knows it's going to happen. And at the end of the day, he's going to have to fight him. You know, a lot of people say, oh, they can't force him to fight him. But, you know, PBC, you know, they can stop putting on Thurman shows, you know. You know, they, the, the dudes from the LDBC, shout out to the Lions Den Boxing community, is talking about trying to boycott Keith Thurman. But it's hard to boycott in boxing. You know, they tried to do the Manny Pacquiao made with a boycott. But the product, and it was so good, uh, especially for Manny Pacquiao, and the Mayweather events were so good, a lot of people couldn't stay away from it. You know, eventually those pay-per-views start, you know, hitting the, hitting the gutters, though. They start plummeting, and that's only because the opponents, you know, they ran out of opponents. They didn't want to take those, 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 those big risks, you know. He could boycott Thurman, but it's hard not to watch those shows, especially if he's the only fight on that night. It's hard. I'm not, you know, into boycotting, you know, regular, uh, you know, basically regular TV subscription boxing. I'm going to support Keith Thurman. I, I, I love Keith Thurman. Um, had some contact with him before on social media. You know, he reached reach out to you. He's a great guy, you know, but this is a business decision for him. And you have to realize that. I truly believe that Keith Thurman will fight Earl Spence. And I truly believe he's going to give a better performance than most people think. Um, but, you know, I'm not I'm not going to boycott this man. You know, he, he, he you know, he's going to fight Earl on his time. And a lot of great other champions have done that. They fought fighters on their time. And, I, and who am I to pick and choose, um, you know, which guy support because he wants to take his time. He has a valid reason. He's injured. You know, and you can say people say what he said. He's being bluntly honest with everything he said. And I respect somebody that can be honest instead of beating around the bush like Danny Garcia or Sean Porter and lying to themselves. I can respect the bluntly honest guy and keep Thurman. But my point is to end this video is the simple fact if I'm saying to make it clear because a lot of people like to mix and screw and take contact, the wrong context out of my out of my videos and they want to spin it how they want to spin it. And that's fine and dandy. But my point is here. If Earl Spence gets all the three belts, I'm telling you guys, PBC guys is going to move up and, and evacuate and get away from him like, like he the plague. It's not about championships. It's not about he was never ready. It's about that they know what they're dealing with. They know what type of animal Earl Spence is. And if he had three belts at 147, they're going to pull a rigging dial on him. They're going to keep moving up. They're going to do a Santa Cruz, Quig, Maras, you know, you name them. They're going to pull him up. And who going to be the no-needle denier to give him that shot? It's going to be Keith Thurman. He don't even want to give him the shot. But we gone.